Greetings and welcome back to Cobweb Cottage. I don't know about you guys, but I have been in a major decluttering mood because spring is on the way and I couldn't help but start to get excited and decorate for it even though it's still kind of winter outside, but couldn't help myself. But the problem always is getting ready for spring is taking down all of the winter decor and getting it to fit back into those storage boxes that it just never seems to fit the same way as it did before. A question Jonas and I have been getting a lot lately is, how do you store your seasonal decorations when not on display? So I was planning to go through my seasonal storage boxes today, and I thought, why don't I take you guys along with me for that? And it makes me really happy that you guys have noticed how much I love to decorate for the holidays and celebrate all the seasons here at Cobweb Cottage with different little displays and vintage vignettes. And I'm not surprised this question has been coming up because Jonas and I live in this 500 square foot cottage that is about 100 years old and definitely was not designed with good storage in mind. So I've had to get really creative with storage space so I can still enjoy my seasonal decorating with a very limited space and I'm going to be sharing a few of my methods as I go along and I think they might surprise you. So in case you're new around here, my name is Lindsay Diane and I live here with my husband Jonas. He's away for the day so that's why I thought today would be a great day to do this decluttering because it kind of makes a mess in this tiny cottage and it's just better to kind of do it by myself but he will be helping me and you will see. So why don't you grab a cup of tea and let's get sorting. But first, why don't we flash back to yesterday where Jonas was helping me take down all of the storage boxes. So we are up in the attic. Well, as you can see, it's, it's not very big at all, but that's the life if you live in a small cottage. How do you feel? <laughs> so thank you for helping me take that down so I can show everyone how we store all our seasonal stuff. So don't you think it's kind of interesting that like literally, oops, sorry, <laughs> that our only storage space for like seasonal stuff is up in this tiny can you try to show i mean it goes like, um, it's so small from this from here to here yeah that's, that's it, it. That's i it. mean i can probably could i lay it down up there? oh my gosh what if you could squeeze up there i think i could <laughs> it usually ends up that you're the one putting it all away because you're way better at packing things than i am i feel i <laughs> I have a gift of um, see like hidden spaces. So I could try, but then you end up, it's like you're really good at, what's the, that game? Tetris. Tetris, yes. I played actually a lot of Tetris when I was younger. You are great at yeah. Tetris. And it's come in really handy all the times we've had to move. And speaking of that, do you believe that it was almost one year ago that we cleared out our storage unit? We used to have mm. a little more space up there, a little wiggle room. But now it's all kind of gone because we took some of our wedding stuff back here that we know is more for our future home, but we couldn't bear to get rid of it. I mean, I wish we we had a lot more storage room, actually. Yeah. <laughs> but at the other hand, I think um, if we had too much storage room, we would just own a lot of stuff that we don't use, that we forget, forget that we even have. That's true. So, I mean, that's nice too. Like everything you see in our house is... Uh, what we have yeah what we have yeah also we need to organize your art area because that's yeah this is all art <laughs> stuff uh, and i really need to decorate or um organize the closet too and thank you for always shoving things up there whenever i need you to <laughs> as i, I said really... before it's my private space up there but it's all taken with the where, seasonal stuff yeah well i can i can fit my head up <laughs> there it's where i go to 
No, she in my head. <laughs> Oh, you poor thing. Thank you so much to my sweet husband for helping me get down those boxes yesterday. So now I just have a few more things I need to take down to make sure I'm putting all of the holiday stuff away. So I need to get into the zone. I need to put on some electro swing. So let's do this. <laughs> Here's a little pre-tip for you when I am changing over my decorations seasonally. Um, you know, sometimes it goes through an awkward transition where I haven't been able to pull down the boxes yet. I'm not done taking everything down. For example, sometimes I take down Christmas and I still leave up a lot of the winter stuff. And so that's kind of what this is. So what I do is I start to just slowly put it all in these baskets. What's nice about this one is that it slides underneath here so I actually don't have to see it. And then this, um, if it gets too much, but if I have even more, then we'll fit in here. Like what's going on right now. Then I have this other little basket where I just start putting things in and that kind of just goes off to the side here. And I don't know, there's something about it being in a basket that just makes it less uh, cluttered looking, kind of cute and cottage core until I can put it away. Okay, so that's a, uh, Tip number zero, moving on. Okay, so I think I have everything contained in one area. And these are the boxes that Jonas took down yesterday. And uh, so I need to take what's in all of these baskets and fit it in here, <laughs> should be fun. So I thought I'd share my method number one for how to have nice seasonal decor in a small space and that is to focus on flat items. So flat items could be anything like even this sign that I picked up recently. And another way I like to change up everything seasonally is with linens. So I have a few here that need to go away. Also pillowcases is something I have been after for a long time, but you'd be surprised how hard it is to find pillow covers, not just uh, a whole sewed in pillow. So I found these recently at an estate sale. So as far as flat items like that, I mostly store them in the boxes. However, there are a few categories of things that are not in the boxes, and that is my vintage postcards and vintage sheet music. Those I keep in another area. I like to change those out more often than I do what's in the boxes here. So that is one of my favorite, favorite things to collect and decorate with. And since both of those little collections are super flat, they fit in this other box really well, yeah, I don't think it's necessary to keep them in these boxes. As far as the linens go, I try to store more of the holiday stuff in the boxes because uh, I do have another section where I store linens that are a little bit more neutral, seasonal, just colors, uh, not really holiday themed because I never know what kind of linens I might need for different photo shoots or things that I'm trying to capture in the cottage. I try to keep those more handy because these boxes are not easy to get down, so these are more my holiday stuff. Of course, there's a little bit seasonal in there, but we'll get to that soon. Okay, so that was my method for more of the flat items, but what about the bulkier items that take up a lot more space? So my little secret is that I store more of my seasonal bulkier items throughout the cottage all year long as decorations. So Jonas put some shelves over the top of our desks and normally that's where we keep a few special keepsakes. Um, so it's nice to be able to see them throughout the year. 
and then sometimes I decide that I want to take them down and make them a part of our seasonal decor. So that is a good example of that right now because I decided for spring I wanted to bring down like, my Snow White decorations. Then I have a few special items that I would just be so sad if they ever got damaged by putting them up too high or in these boxes. And so for example I have a little turtle ready to come out for the spring. So why don't I go take this little fellow up there and I can show you what I have up there so far. Okay, so now Mr. Turtle is over here. He joined his woodland friends over here with all the other Snow White storybook kind of spring stuff. So here's an example I wanted to show you is that I put this whole display together with things that were just out in the cottage that we were enjoying all year. I didn't even go into any of the holiday boxes to pull this little set together. So yes, this is my little spring display in progress. I still have a few other spots in the cottage that I need to decorate. Here's one area that I usually like to decorate that I want to show you kind of my in-between process here. Some lovely prints that I found frames for from my lovely friend Paula from the Cottage Fairy. So beautiful. And she also did this one. This is also one that I will kind of use for decoration. So this area, I'm just kind of starting to get an idea. Color palette in my mind. I'm really loving the blues. So I had to stop for a quick cup of tea because sorting through stuff is so exhausting. Okay, so my third method. So my secret is that I sort through it before every season. Okay, this is challenging because of course you feel most excited about the season that is just to begin and you think you're gonna use it all and you want to hang on to it just in case that you find a nice place for it. So this is better in general, not even just for myself and for our, my own storage sake, but it's better for if you're going to be donating these pieces or passing them along to someone else because they will have a better chance of having a more happy life and being found and adopted if you donated it at the start of the season. This is also something that I need to do with my clothes. So another reason it's good to do this is because once I've kind of put up my seasonal holiday decor and kind of it's in its finalized stages, then I know what I'm left with and I know I probably won't use it again because it's very likely too that I will end up acquiring a few more things from that season's uh, decor throughout the season. So whether it's like gifts being sent or I pick up more things at a thrift store, uh, it happens. It happens every time. So <laughs> that's why it never seems to fit the same as when you first took it out. With that in mind, I am going to be trying to be a little bit harder on myself going through all the holiday stuff. That's just more knickknacks that I've picked up over the years since living at the cottage for the last five years and uh, see where we're left. So wish me luck. Oh yeah, and I just realized I didn't point out that I kind of have it as much as we could try to keep the seasons like two boxes of fall and Halloween, two boxes of winter and Christmas, but we do have an extra box of Christmas ornaments and then here's more of the fake flowers and stuff from our wedding and then we have one box that's spring and summer. Okay, let me just give you a quick overview of what I am dealing with here. So this is pretty crazy. This is all my holiday stuff pretty much in one place. I wonder how much that looks like to you guys. It's a box from an old job where we had flushable cleansing wipes and it just happens to fit up in there really well. So this is pretty much max capacity for the boxes that go up there. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start with the spring box. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna try my best not to get distracted, telling stories about everything in here. Uh, but look, Jonas and I, those little dolls. Oh no, my shoe fell off. <gasps> my pants fell down. Oh no, little Lindsay. Indecent exposure. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so I've taken out the stuff that I think I will use for spring. The rest is more summer, so I think I'll just go ahead and leave it in here. Uh, because, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but we pretty much already heavily decluttered this all the holiday stuff when we went through our storage unit and kind of combined everything here. So basically what I'm doing is just going through quickly reminding myself what's in here and seeing if it still resonates the same way. But this is all the spring stuff. I thought there was more actually. Maybe we got rid of some. I can do that sometimes where I just kind of partially go through things. Normally what I'll do too is when I'm not quite ready to decorate for Easter yet but I want to put the boxes away, I will just put it in a basket until I'm ready to decorate for that particular holiday. Okay, I'm already feeling confused and overwhelmed. How on earth did all this Christmas and winter stuff fit in here before? Or you know, I think it's that we acquired some new things. It's always the hardest to switch from all the cozy season stuff to the more spring-summer stuff. This is the part that can get hard, is having to always think so small. Always stay confined into this little boxes. But it's good in the end. It's I, it's better this way. I don't want to acquire too much stuff. And don't get me wrong, sometimes I'm like, oh, wouldn't it be nice to have like a Christmas village or something like that. But one day in our future bigger home, I'm sure that'll come our way. Yeah, what am I gonna do? This this is the Christmas and winter boxes, and they're already full, and I haven't put anything in yet. <laughs> okay, I might I might just need to declutter it if I can, and just let Jonas do it for me later. This never gets easier. It's even harder with the camera on me, but yeah, I'm a very deep thinking kind of person, so I really like to process everything. <laughs> so excuse me if from now on it's not really making much sense anymore. I already noticed before Christmas that our Christmas linens were getting a little, uh, Bigger and bigger. I really love all of these. And I would say we used most of them. Or I have used them in the past. Uh, these are the new additions that I thrifted recently that I didn't use this last Christmas. But I really like them. So... Oh. Also, if I did get rid of any of these right now, it's kind of off-season, so... Maybe I'll just try to see if we can get them to fit and circle back to it before next Christmas. Maybe give some as gifts. I was thinking, you know what, Jonas will probably be able to squeeze all these things in. I don't, I used all of them this last year. I enjoyed them all. I don't really feel ready to part with them. Uh, I could if I absolutely had to. I, I, I've done that kind of thing before, but since I get to live here and enjoy my things. Uh, I don't want to have to if, I, if Jonas can make it fit, but at the same time, I hate that feeling of knowing that there's not any wiggle room. And I was thinking, you know what, maybe it's not that bad, but then, then I found all these lights that I forgot that used to fit in here too. So either we have to put the lights somewhere else, um, but that's what I mean. I don't like that feeling of like, ooh. I need to expand and now the lights need to go somewhere else. The only thing I feel like maybe I'm willing to part with is, funnily enough, these linens that I picked up recently. They're nice, right? But hmm, I could part with them. Uh, and then these two candle holders, I actually really love them, but uh, I don't know how to explain it. Sometimes I just get a sense that it's time to let them move on move on to the next home. Okay, and I saved my favorite season and holiday for last, so we have fall and Halloween in here. Might be hard. Actually, first I should show you that this is our Christmas tree. This was a wreath used at our wedding. So it's kind of falling apart. It was in storage for a while. So we brought it back to the cottage, but I don't really want to put it outside because it's so nice and special to us 
and I haven't been able to figure out how to decorate the inside, so this might be like a future home decoration, but I, I just I can't get rid of it. <laughs> it was handmade by a friend that helped me with some of the wedding decorations. Okay, and then two other things that I can't part with that are kind of almost too big for the cottage. But uh, this this was our wedding centerpieces. They were in storage too for a while, so unfortunately they kind of cracked and some of the wood fell off. So we saved two of the best ones. So Jonas actually wood burned our kind of wedding theme on there, which is it says dreams come true in uh, old Norse Viking runes because we're nerds like that. It's also what we have on our wedding bands. So glad at least these two kind of survived and uh, I hope I can use them again one day. Okay, as I was going through the Halloween stuff, I realized that we pretty much already Jonas packed it really well last time, and we haven't touched it since then, so I'm pretty confident that everything in here is things that we like. It is a little tight, not much room to add anything. <laughs> so, uh, and that's the thing, is the only thing I could feel like I might be able to get rid of is this. It's really heavy and delicate. I thrifted it last year right before my family was coming to visit and I did use it when we were together so that makes it a little harder to, to let go of but I also have a pumpkin teapot that matches this so it makes me want to hold on to it and because pumpkins are my favorite thing ever maybe Jonas will be able to fit it in here or maybe we'll let go of it. Cold tea, that's lovely. <laughs> I didn't make as much progress as I thought I would I really had hoped that I would have a whole tray full of donations, at least. I don't know, I can't tell if it's either that we recently pretty aggressively decluttered our holiday stuff already, or if it's that I'm having a little hard time letting go of some things. It might be easier when Jonas and I go through it a little bit more together. What we usually end up doing, I guess, is that we try to make it fit, and then when it gets too stressful, we just realize it becomes more clear like what things we can let go of. Maybe that's a kind of weird way to do it, but living in this small space it's just kind of how it goes. But still, overall, I mean, it's not that bad for holiday stuff. It's something I enjoy doing and so for me it's kind of worth the struggle every once in a while. But I still think my methods hold true and I will just reiterate them one more time. It is, number one is to focus on flat items. For me, that's like my linens, postcards, sheet music, and a good example of that too is stuff like these vintage reproduction paper cutouts so they can stick up on the wall and they make a big difference for the room and for the feel of the holiday, but they take up like no space. Number two is for the bulkier things that are not holiday related necessarily try to store them throughout your home and just enjoy them all year I just it makes me happy all year and I love kind of the challenge every turning of the season to see what's inspiring me from what I already have sometimes I pull things from the kitchen from the bathroom the bookshelf and all of a sudden I'm surprised that I had more than I thought I had to make up a little cute holiday display. And number three was to declutter your holiday stuff before that season or holiday begins to give those items the best chance to be loved by somebody else. So let me know what you think of my methods. Um, I know they're probably not for everybody. This is definitely a different sort of lifestyle to live so super small. But you guys were asking this question so much that I thought it was worth answering in a dedicated video. So I think I'll sign off the video here just in case. I don't know what's gonna happen later tonight with all this stuff. All right, we have done it. Jonas is amazing and you know what? It was so much easier 
going through everything together. And we ended up getting rid of a few more things. Not a whole lot, but it's something. And yeah, so we have the ornaments box, two Christmas, two Halloween, summer, and then some like floral kind of stuff. And then this stuff I already showed you, it's all gonna go back up in the closet. And it feels good. So good to have that done. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me at the cottage, seeing some of the decor. I hope it answered your questions. Let me know what other kind of videos like this you might like to see. I know it's a different format than what I usually do, but I've kind of been wanting to share more of this side of the cottage life. I know we share a lot of her aesthetics, the living stuff, but this is also an aspect of it too when you live super tiny. So let me know if there's any other sorts of decorating or styling kind of videos you would like to see like this. I feel like you guys have seen a little different side of me today of my personality. I don't know. When I do this kind of stuff, it, it, I, I love my holiday decor, but it also gives me like a lot of anxiety. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and join the Cozy Cottage Club. And I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.